Alright YouTube, before I carry on with my, well before I start the update video I should say, uh, I just wanted to uh, mention this guy's channel, Brazil2044. Um, now two things sis, the first one is, can you just, you know, go onto his channel, check out his videos, uh, hit the subscribe button, um, he's got a nice channel and so on, I know he wanted to grow quite well, so, um, that's the first thing. The second thing is, can you please check out this video, uh, what's to come in the first half of 2013. Um, and while you're on there, just listen to it, um, and you'll see why, uh, when you read it, but basically he's being, uh, bullied a bit at school, so if everyone can just, literally just write him an encouragement message, I know he'd really appreciate that, um, and um, yeah, just you know, just a bit of support and so on. So check out Brazil 2044. Go on to the uh, what's to come in the first half of 2013 video. Watch it and uh, also give him a um, a like, a, a subscribe, um, comment, whatever you think is appropriate. So yeah, if you can do that, it'd be really good. YouTube is Dodo from here. Um, today we're doing another little uh, update video. And um, before I get on to moving on to what I've actually on this, I've been waiting for my delivery to come from Hatton's. Um, finally come through, so that was quite good. Um, well, I say I've been waiting. Um, Hatton's are very good. They generally send their stuff in a day, um, you know, sort of two day or next day delivery or something. But anyway, um, so I just run through quickly what I've brought. Um, the first thing I've brought is uh, point. Uh, sorry, not point. Uh, buffers. Um, they're by Pico, and the are uh, they are the. Uh, I think hang on, is the number S L dash forty. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what those the sort of standard Pico buffers like. Um, I prefer the Pico ones, the Hornby ones for Steam era. <coughs> like I'm using, I think they just look slightly older. Um, I think they also look better for. I'm doing more of like a country. Um, this here is going to be a large country station. So I prefer these slightly more um, rural looking buffers, I mean they look better. Um, other advantages of these um, compared to the Hornby uh, one, you know you get them in all the train um, packs and so on, um, is these are already, they're, well, they're moulded with brown plastic so I don't have to paint the plastic brown. If I want to at a later date I could just weather it slightly. Um, which I think will look quite good. But what I do is, as you can see, um, the bar actually along the top, I paint it white, and then I paint the buffer stops yellow. Um, you can't see this because it's the wrong way around, but I'm sure you'll get a better look later on the video. I've also got this one down here, which um, is quite good, and this was the other new one, so I've got two new ones. Um, they're painted up, they're on the layout, exactly where I want them to sit. They're looking really good at the moment, and yeah. I like the um, white and yellow. Um, most people do white and red, or brown and red, um, but I like the white and yellow. I think it looks quite good. Um, and that's sort of the colour scheme-ish um, that I'm using around the layout. I mean, this good shed you see in front of you has got yellow canopy. Um, this one here has got yellow canopy as well and red brick. And that's the sort of style I'm going for, um, which comes quite nicely. Now, as well as the buffers, I've also got scale point motors, the dummy style. Um, they look like this. They need weathering up, painting up, but I'm not going to do any of that until I put the... Uh, well, until I've worked out exactly what I want to look like, I don't know if I want them to look um, black metal or uh, brown wood or so on. Also, probably won't do these until I start doing the ballasting, so I'll just attach them down to the track or layer and so on. Um, I'll show you later on how they fit onto the track, um, but I think they look quite good and they just add a nice sort of bit of realism to the um, points. And the final thing I've got is um, five mounting plates for points. Um, I'm waiting for four more points. Here's one of them. This is an old one I've got. I might go and fit this one, get it all wired up and everything. But um, I will be, well, hopefully they'll be in the post tomorrow. And then once I've got that, I'll be able to finish off all the points and so on. Um, I am still trying to buy a Y point to fit in here, um, which is getting a bit irritating now because every time I try and buy, I'm trying to buy one off eBay. Um, I'm trying to save a couple of pounds because Y points are actually quite expensive. Every time I seem to almost win it, someone bids right at the end, so um, they are just getting a bit irritating, but anyway, um, I managed to buy this one, these two quite cheap actually, I got a pair, two right hand Pico Streamline points, uh, these weren't from Hattons, these were from eBay, uh, I won them, including postage, they were £7, so 
um, they were three pounds sixty or something. I worked out each, including the postage, which I thought was really good. Right then, that's enough of what I brought. Um, I now start to move on to the actual update stuff. Um, now, what you can see, I've now got one, two, three controllers. They've all been stuck down. Um, well, not stuck down. They've been screwed down. It's all nice and solid and everything, and they are all working now. Um, this controller here is an older one. This one is one of the uh, made in England ones. These two are made in China ones. Now the reason I'm telling you that is they feel different to use and the point where they put their power output is different. Now, let's take that in the middle so it won't go anywhere. There we go. Now this one here, there's a lot more resistance when you move it which is really good actually. It feels really nice. But the difference is when you turn this one here to 10 o'clock that loco just off the screen will start moving. These ones here, um, the resistance is slightly less, it still feels alright, but anyway, if I move this one here to 10 o'clock, the loco will not move. I have to move it to 11 o'clock before the loco starts to move. Um, so it's just the way it puts the power output. Now because of that, and because I've got switchovers between the top track and the middle track, I want to keep these two controllers which have the same power output positioning thing, if you know what I mean. So these two here run the top two tracks now. Track one, which is the top one, track two is the middle one, track three is the bottom one. So if I flick the points, and she runs really nicely. Then I can go back. Actually, I'll leave her there. I'll go for the middle. Um, so yeah, so that, that's um, the first thing. And uh, the next thing is, I've sorted out the wiring underneath. This is something you can't see, but it's underneath. Um, but the wires have all been now marked out as positive and negative. Um, they've all been put up nicely. I've also gone and brought some more of these um, blocks here, um, which is now holding the wire up out of the way. So that's another good thing. Um, as well as that... Pushed out of the way. As well as that, I've started on my station, which is good now. So I will just move the. So you can now see how the stations are done. These are actually the final bits of wood. Um, what I need to do now is sand them down so they're nice and smooth. Then paint them whichever colour I decide, um, and then I can start to detail them. Um, it's all I'm thinking of is a single white line along the front edge. Um, a bit of detail now. You can see one building, one station building. It's that Metcalf um, kit you got in the railway modeler. Now, if anybody's got one of these um, already assembled or still in the packaging and you don't want it, I'm happy to take it off your hands if you just drop me a drop me an email or something. Because I need a second one of these. Um, I'm going to have one sitting there, and one going to be sitting on the opposite side, um, probably on the opposite line over there. Um, and I just think that that will sort of make it look quite good. I think they're nice station buildings, and they fit on this platform quite nicely. Um, so I'll probably stick them there. I think this one here is going to sit right at the end like that. Something like there. Um, but I think they'll look quite good. There's obviously going to be footbridge and stuff like that in there as well. So that's all to come at a later date. Now the other thing I've done is, um, it's not stuck down yet, but that point is in the correct place there, which now means I can start working on all the lines running around it. And, um, yeah, that's coming on quite nicely. And the next thing to show you is just... There, right. And this is the good shed from upstairs. Sorry, I'm, I'm just quite happy that it runs, so I keep moving it. Um, this is a good shed from upstairs. Now, that there is actually where it's going to sit. I can't move it much further down the track um, because it starts to get in the way of the main station. So it's going to sit there. Um, I know it's quite far towards the end and so on. It's like that. Then I'm going to extend this station here along a bit um, to about, well, basically to the end of this board. So it's going to be about that sort of length, um, which I think will be quite good. Um, I might have to remove this building at the end here and stick it somewhere else. Um, I may just leave it or so, I'm not quite sure yet. But yeah, that's the sort of plan which I'm thinking of. So that building's going to sit there. I need to get a single track engine shed to sit. Yeah, a single track engine shed to sit here. Um, hopefully, it's going to take up about that much room there. Um, it might not even be a shed, it might just be a cover 
um, or something. I want to put some sort of building here to stick the locos in. Um, but yeah, uh, that is about it for this um, update. I'm going to hopefully move the loco on the top of the screen. There we go. quite got the point motor sorted out there yet. That's actually one of the next point motors I'm doing. Yeah, great little thing there. And all oh, this is working here, wrong point, wrong motor. Uh, which one do I move? I want to move that track. And for me, it's just nice that still works. So, yeah, I'm going to move them around a bit. Anyway, um, hopefully in the next update, I'll have quite a bit more done on the um, track all completed and all running and everything, which will um, hopefully be quite good, as well as I should have a bit more done on the station. So, yeah, that was just a short update. Um, quite a bit of work and stuff done. Quite a bit of, you know, this and that done as well, which is quite good. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to say... Uh, I'll do it separately. Um, I'll do a separate video about these. Um, I said at the start I'll show you where they go, but I'll do it separately because um, they're going to take a few minutes to do that. So I'll upload that in a second, actually. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you found something useful, something here that you didn't realise. Um, <laughs> so we hope. Yeah. But if you have, then just leave a comment below, and um, I hope to reply to you as quickly as I can. So yeah. Thanks for watching.